is there really a team out there that would not only trade multiple assets, multiple draft picks, but pick up the bill for 49ers Brandon Ayuk in a potential trade? A lot of people seem to be all over the place on this, but there is apparently a report out there that there is a team who fits this mold, who is willing to do whatever it takes to trade for Brandon Ayuk. So let's talk about what the report is and let's talk about who we think this mystery team could be. So this is what we're hearing. Obviously, the big news of today, Brandon Ayuk asking for a trade and then everything else that comes along with that. This being one of them discussing hypothetical trades for the 49ers star wide receiver. So this is what we have heard up until this point. According to Mike Silver, he says, if you're wondering whether another team would pay Ayuk what he's asking for, there's at least one that would. A front office source for a potential trade partner confirmed that to me earlier today. So that's essentially saying someone who would be interested trading for Brandon Ayuk says they also got the cash to come along with it. So who could this mystery team be? I'm going to go out on a limb here. We got 49ers beat reporter Michael Silver. We also understand that, you know, the 49ers have had a ton of front office executives go on to be general managers elsewhere. Rand Carthon with the Titans and most recently Adam Peters of the Washington Commanders. And there's been so much tied to the Commanders. It almost feels like the, 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 the will to get this move done is right there in front of us. But if I had to guess who I think he's talking about, I think he's talking about the Washington Commanders. You got Jaden Daniels on a rookie deal, um, and it would he would be on his rookie deal for the entirety of whatever they decided to pay Brandon Ayuk. They got money to spend. It's a new era, new ownership, new general manager, new coaching staff. All everything's new with the Washington Commanders. And when you have a general manager who has the experience and understands who Brandon Ayuk is inside and out, he was on the staff when Ayuk was drafted out of ASU. So he knows him. He knows him extremely well probably better than any other general manager that's not named John Lynch. So I do believe that that's the team. I think that obviously when you see Brandon Ayuk with Jaden Daniels posting videos of him, talking to Jaden Daniels, posting videos of Washington Commanders practice film, all those different things, that the ties are strong to the Washington Commanders team. So, and again, the biggest thing is who's willing to not only pay the price of trading, giving up compensation, which is likely player plus capital, to acquire Brandon Ayuk and then turn around and pay him the contract that he's looking for. You look at those things and it seemingly fits in line with the Washington Commanders. Now, there's obviously been a ton of other teams that have been rumored. The Steelers have been heavily just, you know, almost hyperventilating over the thought of Brandon Ayuk being on their team for the last two or three months. Could it be them? Could it be a team like the Bills, who obviously don't really have that alpha number one wide receiver with Stephon Diggs and Gabe Davis leaving in free agency. So maybe they could be wanting to go all in and get a wide receiver to pair with Josh Allen and his skill set that is, you know, predicated on pushing the ball downfield, which matches IU really, really well. Um, but again, we're in this with these types of situations come these types of conversations. Now, all these things can be true. There could be absolutely a team who would not only pay the contract, but would pay the price to trade for a player of Brandon Ayuk's status. But again, that's not where the decision lies. It doesn't lie with Brandon Ayuk. It doesn't lie with where Brandon Ayuk wants to play. It doesn't lie with whoever wants Brandon Ayuk on their team. This decision lies with Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch and the rest of the ownership and executive team 
based on what they want to do with this situation. Do they want to trade Brandon Ayuk? Do they feel comfortable keeping him under the current circumstances? Do they feel there could be a rift in the locker room in case there is a, a potential that he has to play on the fifth year option? What are the essentially what are the options right now that are available to the team? And what is the best thing for the San Francisco 49ers moving forward? That is what's going to be the driving force of what happens with Brandon Ayuk. Not and again. So what is that? I would assume it would be Brandon Ayuk being on the team for the long term. That would be my assumption. My assumption would be that you would want your second team all pro wide receiver paired up with your starting quarterback, franchise quarterback of the future, Brock Purdy, and allow those two to continue to develop and grow together and continue to build towards what every fan ultimately wants, which is a Super Bowl ring. So that to me seems like the best and uh, I guess the best, not the best outcome. I, you could say it's the best outcome. I think it's what makes most sense for the 49ers in order to go after another ring. But there are other things also to consider, like, again, the long term uh, success and not only the success, but the long term health of the cap, obviously understanding that. Hey, Brandon Ayuk probably going to make, you know, I don't know, quarter of a billion, dare half a billion. I don't know. He's going to make some ridiculous amount of money, especially if he turns in another quality year this season where Brandon Ayuk, you know, hopefully would be a part of that. But it, it's going to be fascinating to see. Obviously, you have to anticipate the cap is going to continue to rise new TV deals or streaming deals are going to continue to get, you know, striked and that will have a direct impact on the influx and in cap. And so you would imagine there will be room to pay a guy like Brandon Ayuk, pay a guy like Brock Purdy. Now we might see other Eric Armstead type situations occur as a result. You know, I think Debo Samuel kind of feels like he's, in the wake of whatever happens with this Brandon Ayuk negotiation. So uh, it remains, you know, fascinating this, to see all this stuff play out, see all the conversations that have been sparked because of it. And we're a couple days out from training camp. So it's going to be really interesting to see how this ultimately ends and i'm curious how do you think it's going to end let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments below and as always make sure to like and subscribe for more updates